guys today i'm making pasta the spanish way and it's really quick cozy comfort food and it goes great with a nice salad the ingredients you're going to need is sofrito if you don't know how to make sofrito or what that is i do have a separate video i will link below so that you can make yourself some sofrito which is basically some herbs and spices blended together to make this mix adobo garlic salt oregano some form of i use the four cheese this is the aldi's brand it's pretty good the four cheese sauce you can make your own fresh Ragu, prego, whichever you want. I'm using the whole wheat spaghetti because we've been on a more healthier kick, but you can use your normal spaghetti. You can use ziti noodles, penne, whichever you want. I also have here some ground beef. I got this from Aldi's. This was $2.99 a pound. So I'm gonna be using half of this because it's a whole lot. And of course, your pan. This is my beat up pan, so don't mind it. And um, these are all the ingredients you are going to be needing for this recipe. And the first thing we wanna do is cook our meat. So let's start doing that. So I have it here like on medium heat. You're gonna need this tool right here. Um, this just makes it easier to mash when they all get together. So yeah, I'm gonna mash this baby up. I'm gonna continue to do that and we are gonna just cook our meat and I'm not gonna put any seasonings yet. We're gonna brown it, empty out all the fat and the grease and then we can put our seasonings. And while this is, when it's like halfway done is when I'm gonna start boiling the spaghetti noodles because it doesn't take that long to cook the noodles okay, while the noodles are still cooking like i said i don't boil the water till it's like halfway done so that it all gets done at once but just to show you here's just the pot with water i throw a little bit of olive oil and you can use any salt i use the he pink himalayan salt it makes the it gives the water some flavor for the noodles and it also the salt helps the water boil faster so they say, but this is what I've been doing all my life when I cook pasta, and yeah. So now up into the next step. All right, you guys, the meat is still cooking and still browning. See all that grease? We're gonna throw all that out. And I already put my pot to start um, so we can start boiling and throwing in the pasta. All right, you guys, so this is what I do. I don't do this all the time, depends on what I want. But I know a lot of people think this is insane. But I cut them in half um, when I make certain pasta. So kind of like that. I know it's a mess right now. But I just wanted to show you guys. Yeah, so I'm going to do that to both of the boxes and throw them right into the pot. Like that, you guys. And in it goes. Okay, so the pasta's on low. I drained all the oil. We're going to take our adobo. And I just put that much in. We don't really measure where you think it's right and it's not super salty. We're going to take our Lowry's garlic salt. Oop, I got the wrong side open. Hold on. But anyway, we're going to sprinkle some of this. And no measurements, just kind of eyeball it like that. I add a little bit of extra garlic because I love garlic. We are then going to add some oregano. So a decent amount. We're going to mix this concoction and then we're going to add the sofrito. so good and it has just that Spanish flair that's what I'm going for not like your normal pasta dish add some sofrito I like that much is maybe a little more I like mine to really have that flavor and like I said the ingredients to this will be in the description you guys it's delicious we use it on any meat rice beans all kind of stuff give everything a good mix wow. 
And the other half of the meat, I put it in a Ziploc bag and we are going to freeze it. If you see my oven, not so clean, you guys. I've been cooking several meals today because I like to cook and prep meals ahead of time so I don't have to cook for a couple of days. So, yeah. So, now that we mix this together, we are going to check on our noodles because um, I do not want to put the um, sauce yet. So, let's check on the noodles. Pasta's drained and here I poured in the four cheese sauce and we're just going to give it a good mix and let it sit on low so it can heat up some. And then I'm going to show you what I do next. So it's nicely mixed. We're waiting for it to heat up just a little bit. And I'm going to show you what I made as a side. Here I made just a simple salad with romaine lettuce, cucumbers, cilantro, um, salt, pepper. And I'll show you the dressing that I put in it. This is the dressing that I use. It's absolutely delicious. Um, it doesn't take super garlicky or anything. It gives it a nice, nice flavor. And when you add the salt, it just has like a little sweetness to it. So, and I also threw some almonds in there. So everything is done. Now we take the meat, we pour it into the pasta and mix it thoroughly. And that's what it should look like all together. But some people just boil the noodles and pour the meat on top. But this is how I like to do it. Just mix together and get all the noodles with the flavor of the meat and the sauce and everything together. You can also add one more bottle of sauce if you like, if you want it more saucy. It's all up to you and preference. And now I'm going to get everything ready and show you how I finished this thing. I sprinkled some of this on top of my, you can use powdered or fresh, whichever you like. I like the fresh. And this is how my plate looks. A nice amount of pasta and a nice amount of salad. You can serve this separately if you wish. I don't care. I can have it. I don't mind having it on in all in one plate. So yeah, happy cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a thumbs up. Show some love in the comments if you like this sort of thing. And I hope you try it out for yourself. Have a good one.